Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, world. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> November 5th, 2021, baby. We made it. Every day above ground is a good day. Thank you for joining me. Finish your breakfast with AV. Episode 10, two weeks down. Let's go. Like I said, you, I am committing to at least, at least 20 streams for the month of November. Set your goals, quantify your goals, make your goals realistic, attainable for yourself so you can achieve them. When you do a to-do list every day and you scratch off everything on that to-do list, it makes you feel good. And, you know, we got enough things going against us as men, so we want to make sure that we try to feel accomplished. It allows us to get comp uh, confidence and it really helps us be the leaders that we are born to be. <clears throat> good morning, Bernie. Salute to Bernie, putting in the work for me, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Real talk. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Make sure you guys get the likes up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed. <clears throat> Good afternoon to the big homie, Unique79 in London. Good afternoon. I appreciate you, bro. It's almost quitting time for you probably from work, whatever you got going on. I appreciate you for checking in. <clears throat> it was my pleasure, Unique. I apologize for the delay as far as the, the wrench is concerned. You know what I mean? I'm still new. I'm scrambling. got a lot of things going on. But, yeah, you already know. You got a reserve seat, bro. You know that. You know that. Riley. Good morning, bro. <clears throat> You're probably at work. You're grinding. I appreciate you for being here, bro. We're streaming live, guys. We are streaming live on Facebook. The Alpha Villains Podcast. Make sure you guys follow me and subscribe to me there. We also got a Twitch channel. Alpha Villains. <coughs> Pardon me. It's better quality. Follow me there as well. Subscribe to that to help me grow that channel. Twitter. Streaming live on Twitter. Villains Alpha 1. On Twitter. And please subscribe. And follow me on Instagram. If you're not. <coughs> Pardon me. If you're not following me now on Instagram, do me that favor. Follow me on Instagram at Alpha Villains. Finish your breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, man. We're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about 10 things that turn men off. 10 things that turn men off. And quite frankly, I feel like women are clueless as to what turns a man on and what turns a woman off. We're going to talk about it today. Merch of the week. Merch of the week. Money handsome. Money Handsome, Success Object T-shirt. Embrace it. Be successful. You have opportunities out there. If anything, 2020, 21 taught us <clears throat> there is really no blueprint to success. There are people out there making a lot of money, making names for themselves, changing lives for their families by tapping within and getting creative. Don't rely on, on a check. Make your check. Cut your own checks if you can. If you can. Nothing wrong with punching a clock. But there is freedom and a certain level of responsibility in being a man. And if you are a man who wants to uh, achieve success, consider punching your own clock, bro. Do your own thing. Tap inside your gifts. Monetize your gifts. You guys are very talented. You just don't know it yet. You're comparing yourself to other people. You don't want to do that, bro. So money handsome. T-shirts are available at alphavillains.com, www.alphavillains.com. If you consider purchasing the shirt, use the promo code AVMAN, AVMAN. That stands for Masculinity Awareness Network. I'm manifesting it. I'm going to do speaking engagements, manifesting it. Man, Masculinity Awareness Network. Today I'm rocking. Broads are frauds. Kind of goes hand in hand with today's topic. Broads are frauds, man. We on to you. Well, the frauds, we're going to get into it. Thank you for your engagement. Thank you for everybody's support. Thank you for the people that are leaving comments. YouTube is hiding the comments. The YouTube's, YouTube is hiding my responses. I believe they're trying to screen to see if there's any hate or anything derogatory. I am responding to your comments. It helps me at my algorithm. Leave a comment if you don't mind. Like the video. It helps, it helps incentivize YouTube to push my, video, my, my channel. If you are enjoying what I've been doing thus far, if you feel like you enjoyed today's broadcast, feel free to donate. You can donate via Alpha Villains at Cash App, or you can go ahead and go to PayPal, Alpha Villains. 
You don't have to donate, but if you feel compelled to, I would appreciate it. At the very least, make sure you like the video. All right, TGIF, bro. TGIF, I don't know what that means, but for most of us, for most people, it means <clears throat> time to reset. If you work a nine to five, five days a week, you got to give yourself some time to recharge, bro. Very important. You got to work hard, but you got to work smarter. Don't beat yourself up. Don't, you know, if you, you got to listen to your body, listen to your mind. Sometimes you got to block the shit that's going on outside to get to recalibrate yourself. This weekend for me, <clears throat> focusing on next week's topics, meal prepping, how to improve the stream. I got a stream deck right here. It's brand new. I got to learn how I got to figure that thing out. Get some sound effects to improve the stream to, to, to kind of add to my delivery. What are you guys working on? Make sure that you take some time out for yourself, but make sure that if you've worked hard, you play hard, but you set the tone for the next week. November 5th, bro, 2022 is around the corner. You don't have to wait for the ball to drop to start doing shit that you need to be doing. You can do it at any time like this. Just make a choice. Remember, it's lonely at the top, but it's lonely on the way up. And when you get to the top, the view's much better. The view's much better, bro. So we're going to talk about it. Boom. Oh, we starting out with a question. What's good, my G? <clears throat> Unique 79. Question. AV, I joined Bumble and Tinder. No success so far. What is your honest opinion on dating apps? We're going to get into that, bro. We're going to get into that. I don't like dating apps, bro. I don't like dating apps because sometimes you may not be photogenic, bro. Like, I have a good side. This isn't even my good side. My good side is this side. Like, you know what I mean? Sometimes you don't know, you may not know how to take a picture. I don't really know how to take pictures. Yeah, you see these pictures in the back. I mean, but like, I, I got I to figure out how to do things. A lot of women are just judging and not to mention Unique. They have so many options, bro. We've talked about this. So many options. They're overlooking a good man. I always, like I said, I'm old school, 47. I always prefer to kill your own dinner. Talk to someone. Get them in the moment. Like for me, I'm better in person. Like this YouTube shit is cool, right? Like I'm learning how to do this, but I'm better in person. When people meet me, they're like, all right, it's cool. He's not a douchebag. He's not an asshole. He's a cool dude. So yeah, you know what I mean? But what I will say, unique, which is very important, you know, if you just do decide to stick to the dating apps, that's fine. Remember, it's law of num it's numbers, bro. It's a numbers game. As long as you do not let it affect you, the fact that you're not getting any success. For the most part, bro, most of those broads are done anyway. So they're probably doing you a favor by, by, by swiping left, bro. Keep grinding. So today we're going to talk about 10 things that turn men off, bro. What turns you on? What turns you off? Are you a picky man? Do you have standards? Are your expectations realistic? We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. A lot of women will say you have unrealistic expectations. Says who? That's not realistic. Says who? Don't let a woman, especially a woman or anybody for that matter, cap your dreams, cap your reality. You make your reality, bro. You make your own reality. When this camera comes off, you go home, you turn the key in your, in your lock, you shut the door, you go to bed. That's your reality. That's your kingdom. This is my kingdom. Everybody can have a kingdom, but you have to design your own kingdom, bro. You have to design your own kingdom. Women will say, your, your expectations are not realistic. They have the nerve to say, sir, your, your expectations are not realistic. Uh, no, ma'am, your expectations are not realistic. What do women want today in a man? Unique, what do women want today in a man? It's over six feet, jacked up, ripped, looking like Hugh Grant. Great jawline, makes $10,000 a month. That's over six figures. But we're not realistic. Meanwhile, this bro has illegitimate children. <clears throat> she's not in the best shape. She's lazy. She can't cook. But we're unrealistic. We're going to talk about it. But if you have standards, right, if you are a picky man, that means that you must know yourself. If you know yourself, you know what you like. <clears throat> you know what works best for you. You're going to know what's best for, for, for you in a woman, in a partner, bro. Very important. What turns you on? It's kind of like the question, what makes you happy? If you can't answer that question in a millisecond, you haven't given it enough thought. What turns you on? 
What turns you on besides breasts and ass? There's a woman, you know what I mean? Very important. You got to look at that. You got to ask yourself that. Now, depending on who you are as a man, you will have particulars. Things you like in her, things you don't like in her. Now, when you let a woman know what we are not attracted to, what do they call us? What do they call us, bro? Some of the names men are called when we tell a woman, nah, that's not going to work. Or no, that's not going to work. Women will call you a pig, a misogynist, an asshole. You're such a dick, AV. Yo, you know how many people call me such a, you're such a dick, you're such an asshole. Why? Because you asked me or I told you. When you are honest with the woman, you have to, for the most part, you typically saving it, saving her from herself. Women will lie to another woman. Men shouldn't lie to women, especially if it's something that she is doing that is not in line with what you like. Very important. Unique. I have to admit, the older I get, the more selective I become, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. It depends on how you look at it, brother. It depends on how you look at it. Look at this glass. Is this glass half full or half empty? It's all about perspective, bro. It's not a good thing. It's a very good thing. You know why? Because the more selective you are, the more filtering you're doing. Like, what did I say the other day? When the circle gets better, it gets smaller, not bigger. There's only a few people that can climb that mountain with you. Unique. <clears throat> as long as your selection process is realistic according to your reality, Someone will fit that narrative for you, bro. So it's never a bad thing. Really, it's a matter of your perspective. And the fact that you said that you're getting, as you get older, which we all will, the things that you like at 20 or 30 shouldn't be the things that you like at 47. That shows growth. That shows evolution. Riley, six feet, six figures, six inch at the very least. Fast car, et cetera. <clears throat> 666. Top cast, Aries gang, you already know. Aries season. Yeah, bro. I'm an Aries suit. You already know, bro. Good morning, Top. Thank you for checking in, my G. Appreciate you, bro. So when you tell a woman that you're not attracted to those particulars, they call you a misogynist and a pig. That's called shaming language. We talk about that in the space. Shaming language. Do not let that derail. Do not let that derail. Your reality. Oh. Oh. Unique. Airy season. Let's go. Let's go. You know what I mean? Appreciate you. Yeah, let's get let's dive in, bro. Let's dive in. Now, for me, women annoy me, bro. Women annoy me. Like I said yesterday, I love women, but they annoy me at the same time. And I get turned off easily. Due to their silly ass antics. Now, what am I gonna do? You know, I'm gonna we're gonna name we're gonna name ten obvious things, right? Obvious things, and then we're gonna dive into ten things that you may have overlooked. So yeah, the title says ten, but we're gonna go into twenty. All right, so let's talk to, about the first one: long fingernails. Long fingernails. Why do you have such long fingernails? Can you type with those nails? Can you do the dishes with those nails? Can you wipe your ass well with those nails? You got to make sure. You got to make sure that you're aware that a woman's nails are a reflection of what she is doing outside of those nails. So if she's got these crazy ass nails, all these ghetto ass colors, it's a turnoff for most men, bro. For most men. Now, for me, <clears throat> I like a woman's nails to be done. Her toes, especially. Got to get they gotta get them done. You can get them either gel, acrylic, but they can't be too long because it shows it shows what you're doing, how domesticated you are. Very important. Always ask your man's opinion about the nail color, even if he's not paying for it just yet. Free tip. I like American manicure. I like French manicure. I like, it depends on your hand, the tone of your hand. If you're too dark of a woman, you shouldn't be wearing red nail polish. If you dark, you should not wear red nail polish. It makes your hands look old. If you are fairer skin, if you're fair, if you're fair skin, you want to make sure 
that you have a color that contrasts your hands. Let's talk about this one. Another turn off that, that men, that women do, that men don't like. You eat with your mouth open. What's up with that, bro? A lot of broads are eating with their mouth. They're filming themselves eating. They're chewing. They're eating with their mouths open. That is not attractive. Chew your food. Don't talk with your mouth open. A lot of women lack etiquette. They think it's attractive. They think it's funny. It's not funny. You swallowing a hoagie, you think that's going to turn a dude on that maybe you could swallow his his, his uh, baloney pony. No, bro. No. Stop recording yourself eating and chewing out loud. Not a good look. Too much makeup. <clears throat> Too much makeup, bro. It's like a goddamn smear campaign looking like Harley Quinn and the Joker. Your pillow, Your pillowcases are dirty. Women like to wear too much makeup. Why? To hide certain things. Shout out to Real Pill Chauvinist. He talked about he works in the medical field. When a woman wears a lot of makeup, she could possibly be covering up some ailments that she may have. Bad skin. Acne. Oily skin. If you are a woman that wears too much makeup, that's a red flag. How do you look without the makeup? What about the fake ass eyelashes? Can you see me? Bro, these women have tarantulas on their on their eyes. How can you see in front of you with those fake ass eyelashes? When you take off the eyelashes, what happens? And is it me or did eyebrows go out of style? Where are women's eyebrows, bro? Your eyebrows are painted on. They're either too thin or they're too thick. And here's my thing. Women with all of these accessories, right? All these accessories and it being obvious. Why do you guys have such bad attitudes? A woman will a woman will walk around here thinking she is a dime with 10 different accessories on her that are not hers. Answer me that. What about clothes that are too damn revealing? Too damn revealing. I get it. Listen, I like cleavage. I like ass. But if you were going to Walmart and you got shorts and half of your ass is hanging out, for what purpose? To get attention. When a woman tries to get too much attention, too obvious, it's a turnoff to a real man. Because a real man knows that 10 other dudes are looking at you and you doing it just for attention. Ladies, if you want to attract a man that you, and want, you want a man to take you seriously, stop wearing such revealing clothes. Ass hanging out, titties popping out. It's not sexy anymore. It's, it's actually quite tacky, and that's just in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Edward Scissor, Scissorhands has, <laughs> has an excuse, not women. Absolutely. Women give a shit about our fingernails. Absolutely. Now, listen, depending on your trade, if you're a mechanic, landscaper, you work with your hands, I get it. You know what I mean, but if you're not, if, if you work in an office, you're a call center, you work in an office, I mean, cut your nails. Jesus Christ. You know, it's all about grooming. Different color hairs or wigs. We're going to get to that, Riley. We're going to get to that. Oh, wearing flurry flops. Flip-flops in public. Yeah, bro. That's not attractive in the airport. I'm like, where are your shoes? Where's the rest of your outfit? What about lopsided wigs? Lopsided wigs. Listen, man. If you are a bald woman, you don't have a lot of hair. Maybe you're African American. Maybe you, your hair doesn't grow. You've you've messed up your hair. Okay, fine. I pre I get it. You know what I mean? Hair does a lot. You know what I mean? If I had hair, I would look totally different. But you should not have an attitude associated with that wig, bro. That's a turn off. Fix your wig. Invest in a wig. What about yelling and cursing out her kids in front of you? If you're dating a single mother and you on the phone with her 
and you hear her, you hear her, she doesn't even have the courtesy to tell you to hold on. She's calling her daughter a bitch. She's telling her son to shut the fuck up. These are her kids. That's a turn off. See, women don't understand that the way that they treat their kids, not yours, but their kids, disqualifies them for possibly long-term status with you. If she talks to her niece and nephew, she doesn't have kids of her own. And she's talking to the, the, the future, the kids, cursing at them, letting them be on the iPad, not watching them on her phone more than she's actually watching her fucking niece and nephew or her children. That disqualifies you, ladies. We don't want you for long term. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Pretending to be clumsy. What about pretending to be clumsy? That's a turn off. You pretending so I can like white knight your ass. Unique. AV, it is embarrassing when women wear weaves, start fighting, and the weave get pulled off. Bro. Red flag, Bernie. It is embarrassing. That's Oh, that's a good one, Unique. Fighting in public. Grown-ass women fighting? No, bro. High-fiving each other? That's not a good look. I said it yesterday, bro. Don't talk like your man. Ladies, do not talk like your man. What about posing with your child? Excessively. Unique said he's on Bumble and Tinder. He's not getting any luck. Unique, how many of those broads are showing off their children on the dating sites, bro? They're showing off their kids. It's not even your child. Ladies, we appreciate the fact that you love your kids, but you don't have to show everybody you love your kids, bro. We don't care about your kids, especially if we just met. Most men don't care about your kids. Take the pictures off of your kids off the dating sites. That's another free tip for you. Take it off. Take it off. We don't care. If and when it comes up, talk about your kids then. When and if we ask. What about flirting with other men? That's a big one, bro. Flirting with other men. You at the bar. First of all, you go out to drinks for drinks with a broad. Don't sit at the bar, bro. Don't sit at the bar. Now, if you want to do a test and you want to see where she's at, you sit at the bar. You go to the bathroom and shit. You see how many how many dudes are talking to her. How many dudes is making her laugh? But a broad that's always laughing at another man's jokes excessively. Like if he says something funny, that's cool. But if she's like, ah, that's that's a turn off because now it's like, okay, this bro has no respect. She forgot her fucking blinders at home. Women who are too flirty is a turnoff. Not from an insecure perspective, but because if you're thinking about this, bro, this, that disqualifies you. That disqualifies you for long term. What about being too friendly with your boys, your friends? Too friendly with your boys and your friends. That's a big one. That's, that's a turnoff for me. Keep your main girl away from your boys, bro. That's a tip. Keep your main girl, bro, that you really care about, your wifey, away from your boys. Now, if she's the only female in the crew, do not allow her to come and hang out with you and your boys. Why is that? Not because you're insecure. Because you're saving the broad from yourself. If they are your boys, more than likely you guys kind of think and act the same. So if she's attracted to you, more than likely she may be attracted to one of your boys. She, want, she may want to be friend a friend of yours so she can get intel on you. And most men, unfortunately, are so weak. They will rat you out to try to look good in front of your boy. In front of, you know what I mean? In front of her. Keep a, the woman that you care about away from your boys. Now, if it's couples, not some broad your boy is smashing. Like he's got a, he's got a long-term relationship. You're in a long-term relationship, and then you guys go out for her, their birthdays or some shit like that, fine. But if a girl wants to meet your friends, that's a red flag, bro. That's a turn-off. What about this one, bro? What about this one? You know what another turn-off is? Discussing or comparing her ex-boyfriend to you, bro. No. No. 
If a woman is constantly comparing you to her ex or her ex-husband, that's a turnoff. Because if you with me, I don't give a fuck what you did with that dude. Matter of fact, I have to erase everything that dude did to you and teach you it the right way. Big <laughs> Bernie, the big purses are, are for carrying extra weave just in case of the wind factor. Absolutely. Unique says facts. Riley, when women do selfies and they do the duck face, no thanks. Bro, Riley, <clears throat> these broads are still doing duck lips, bro. Mothers, stop doing duck lips. Stop posing with your daughter doing duck lips, duck lips with your daughter. It's not attractive, bro. I don't like that shit. And a lot of dudes don't like that shit, bro. They're going to tell you what, they're going to try to make you feel good, maybe because they want to smash you, but it's not a good look. Red Pillar Winners, good morning, bro. He says, facts. Top cast, peace. <clears throat> if a woman is comparing you to her ex, that's a flag, bro. You tell her, yo, why aren't you with him? What happened? What about this one? Another turn off. Asking the same question over and over and over again. Miss, I already answered the question. I answered the question last week. Please refer back to the answer I said last week. Women want to know everything but understand nothing. A woman will ask you the same question over and over again to trip you. To try to see if there's or if there are any inconsistencies in your story, in your truth. Women can't handle the truth, so they 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 concoct the story in their mind, so the question that they continuously ask you can reflect the story that they concocted in their mind. Ladies, if you keep asking a man the question over and over again, it's a turn off. A real woman knows when to shut the f up and pay attention to her man. If you pay attention to your man, maybe you'll get the answer that you're looking for. Top cast. Her nails better be real. Yeah. I'm not into all that fake shit. I mean, yo, listen, it is what it is. I get it. You work out, all this shit. I get it, bro. I get it. But the nails got to be real underneath the bed, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, grow your nails. Eat your vitamins. Vitamin E and, e and all that shit. Riley, I know one chick that does duck face. Yeah, a lot of them do, bro. A lot of these bros do that. And I get it. It's to contour your face and make your face look small, um, thinner. I get it, bro. I get it. But really, find your angles. Well, don't take as many pictures, bro. <clears throat> Ooh, red pillar win. As turn off for me is the way that they're way too clingy and bring up the or bring up their ex. Yeah, bro. On the flip side, let's flip it. Let's flip it, RPA. Let's flip it. What about when a man is too clingy? That's a turn off for a woman, too. Man, you should not be clingy with your girls, bro. Ooh, this leads me into this. What about PDA? How do you guys feel about public displays of affection? Are you an affectionate person? Do you like, do you hug your bro when you're walking with her? Do you hold hands? I don't mind PDA, bro. I don't mind PDA. I don't mind showing a woman PDA. But the way I show a woman PDA, I, I slap her on her ass. Or like if, I, if I'm walking across the street with her, I, I cup her ass and I walk her across the street. I escort her that way. Or my version of PDA is I'll grab her by the neck. Not hard. Grab her by the neck and escort her. That's my version of PDA. I don't mind showing a I don't mind showing a broad some broader affection, but you always want to make sure that you put yourself in a position for the woman to show you or display PDA for you. That demonstrates that she's actually into you. You got to read the vibe. Basically taking selfies and pushing their lips out. Yeah. Top cast. Look at the whites of the eyes for ailments. Ooh. Guys, make sure you follow and subscribe to the Topcast. He's got a YouTube channel. He's on that esoteric shit. You guys ain't ready. Look at the whites of the, of the eyes for her ailments. 
Very important. Very important. What about this one, bro? This is a big one for me. And it should be a big one for you. What about grammar and misspelling words? It's a text. Proofread the text before you send it to me. We talked about this yesterday. Again, do not talk like your man. Your grammar should be up to par with your level of education. Don't tell me about your degree if you can't spell. Don't tell me about your degree when you pronounce benign as benignin. That's a problem. And it's unattractive. If you can't spell, you can't speak properly. You really need to be nice and just sit down and accept what I'm offering you. She's passionately ignorant. That's another turn off. She says something stupid and she's passionate about it. Women would rather be right than happy. They don't want to be happy, so they want to take the argument down. They want to be right. No, bitch, you are wrong. We don't argue with women here. I love you, bitch, but you're wrong. What about liars? I mean, that's a lot. That's easy. Liars. What are the ways that women lie? They ask you questions, same question to try to to try to pinpoint a lie. So you're always on the defensive so they can cover up the lie. When you are constantly blocking yourself from somebody swinging on you, defense, there's no window for for offense. A lot of time when a woman accuses you or asks you things, she potentially may be doing some things. What's the biggest way a woman lies? Partial truth. Omission. And a woman will justify by saying, oh, we didn't want to hurt your feelings. But they want to know everything. That's a turn off. As a man, as you become wiser, as you continue to listen to content that opens up your mind, you won't have to ask questions, bro. You'll be able to see when a person reveals themselves, allow them to. Don't stop them. It's like inter- it's like interrupting somebody from speaking. Let them speak. Study their patterns. That's a big turnoff, bro. <clears throat> Ooh, RPA, drama, being negative. Ooh, that's a go of negativity. Yes, saying stupid shit all day. Loud when talking to me. Ooh, women that show off everything. Yes, break a promise. Women that think everything should go their way. Bro, you on fire, bro. You on fire. What about this one, bro? This is a big one. As a man, your time is what? Your most valuable commodity. You cannot take it back. As men, we have to make the most of our time. What about when she's late? She's running late. Not respecting your time as a man. Not apologizing for being late. That's a Big turn off for me, bro. Because when a woman does not adhere to a schedule or she's running late all the time, I mean, shit happens, but all the time, that shows you that she does not respect time. And that's a flag. That's a turn off for me. What happened? I said 8 o'clock. It's 8.45. Well, I was getting ready. I was doing my hair. Your hair still looks the same. When a woman is late constantly, make sure you check that shit. And or you cut her off. Because your time is your money. Your time is valuable. And an experience and a date with you, as it should be, you want to make sure that a woman knows that you don't have time to play games. If you're going to be late, give me some courtesy and apologize and or make it up to me. Your time is everything. Facts. When they try to change the location on the date, that is annoying. Bro, (coughs) pardon me, guys. Unique. When they try to change the location on the date at the last minute. No. No. If you have a suggestion for a restaurant that I may enjoy, you will give me ample notice, and then I'll make the decision to see whether I'll enjoy it or not. 
you cannot change the date. See, because that's the thing. When you give a woman an inch, she'll take a mile. You do not, if you are pre-planning a date, if she is fortunate enough for you to take her out on a goddamn date, you have to plan the date. She has no say so in where you go. <clears throat> where you go. Okay? Riley agrees. Try to change the time. Shit happens. I understand. You got to give me ample notice. Facts. Facts. What else we got? Immature. I think somebody touched on that earlier. These broads are so immature, man. Mid-40s, using emojis. Posting silly-ass memes that their kids can see. That's a turn-off. That's a turn-off. As a woman, I think men really want a sophisticated woman. Most women can't spell sophisticated. You want to make sure that you remain mature. You do things accordingly. Women want you to be mature. They want you to have all these things. They want you to provide for them while they act silly. And when you try to reprimand a woman for being silly, you're a misogynist. You're an asshole. What about passive aggressive? Passive aggressive. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. All day the bitch is nagging you. She's being passive aggressive. I asked you earlier, were you okay? You said yes. Now she's setting the tone. She's getting you in the mood. She's derailing your focus. You're trying to figure out what's wrong with the broad. Instead of her telling you what's wrong. I'm fine. I'm fine, A.V. No, you're not. You're not fine. What's really good? Then when I leave, when I ghost your ass, I'm a problem. What about this one? Not knowing when to shut the F up. Shut the F up, bro. Women will taunt you. They'll taunt you. They'll poke the bear. Knowing in the back of their mind, if you raise your hand, you're going to jail. Not knowing when to drop it. They don't want to go to bed mad. I think as a man, let me tell you something. As, as a man, if you live with a woman or you're sleeping over a broad's house or she's sleeping over your house, if she does something out of pocket, go to bed indifferent and never, ever sleep on the couch. That's, that's, a, yo, that's crazy. Never sleep on the couch, bro. Whether you in her crib or she in your crib, you never sleep on the couch. Women need to learn and understand to, when to shut the F up and to let a man decipher and decompress so you guys can have a civilized conversation. Sometimes you got to let shit go and walk away. Sometimes you got to cool off. Ooh, RPA. Never satisfied. Trying to estimate things to get you triggered. I'll, they'll try to provoke you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I'm gonna, this is the last one we're going to talk about. The most, the thing that turns men off the most is their lack of accountability. It's never their fault, bro. It is never a woman's fault. When you on a date, you talk to a broad. So what happened to your last relationship? Oh, he was this, he was that. What did you do? What role did you play in that relationship? <clears throat> did you guys hear about J-Lo? The, the, the newest thing that J-Lo did? Who heard about what happened with J-Lo, bro? This is going to kind of kind of go hand in hand with the accountability part. So apparently 26 years later J Lo who saw Money Train? Let's start there. Who saw Money Train? That's one of my favorites. Wesley Snipes, Woody Harrelson, Jennifer Lopez in her early day. That was a good movie, man. I like Wesley Snipes and and, and Woody. They had great chemistry, man. I would love to see them come back in a movie. They had great they had they they um they had good chemistry. Very important. Unique says facts. RPA, correct. They never do anything. Never. That's why women are delusional. Riley. So what we're going to do to kind of go ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to share my screen. Hold up. Let me see. Boom. Okay. Oh, shit. I got this. Hold up. Hold up, guys. All right. Boom. All right, so 
<clears throat> Hold on, can you see this? Hold on, am I doing it wrong? Hold on, guys. Hold on. All right, here we go. All right, so this is an article, right? This is an article that came out, and basically what it says is Jennifer Lopez felt violated during love scenes with Wesley Snipes. All right, this is 26 years ago, bro. All right, this article came out on October 31st, popculture.com. All right, so we're not going to read everything, but let's basically see. So a movie came out, the two, the Wesley Snipes and Jennifer Lopez, the two worked together in the 1995 film Money Train. In the film, Lopez stars as Grace Santiago, a transit officer. Her character begins developing feelings for Snipes' character. Officer John Robinson, both fall for one another, and it culminates into a love scene between the two, all right? So basically, if you saw this movie, Wesley Snipes, it was kind of like a love triangle, right? Woody Harrelson likes Jennifer Lopez. They're both cops. They're all three of them are cops, but she likes um, Wesley. <clears throat> so in an interview, 26 years later now, guys, no accountability. In an interview, Jennifer Lopez addressed how horrible the experience was for her. For starters, she said that the scene was never in the script and added in halfway through filming. Lopez didn't believe the scene had anything to do with the movie. Instead, she says she feels producers added it just because they wanted a sex scene. Duh. Duh. Though she never names the actor in that specific interview, it's widely suspected she's discussing Money Train as she notes it, it was her first love scene in a film project. This is what I'm talking about. This is an up-and-coming actress. She knows what it is. She knows what it is. You're willing to do whatever it takes to get your name out there. 26 years later, now you're talking about it wasn't your fault. You were coerced into this. Let's keep reading. She says her leading man pressured her into it. It was a bit, He was a big star at the time with a lot of clout, and I was just starting out, she said. It was my big break, and he really pressured me. He told me if the scene wasn't hot enough, my part would end up on the cutting room floor. Duh. And that it would be bad for my career. Like I'd get a reputation as a diff as difficult to work with. Absolutely. I'm Wesley Snipes, bro. You coming on to you a co-star. I've done Blade, White Man Can't Jump. What did you think? You got to put in the work. You got to put in the work. Let's keep reading. She says she felt uncomfortable, so we did it, and it was horrible. We were both completely naked, with nothing between us except a sock on his boner. This is Jennifer Lopez saying this 26 years later, bro. I was so naive then. I was so naive then. What is she doing? She's playing the victim. No accountability. Now, I would have pillows and covers and whatever to prevent contact, but I didn't know any better. This brought us saying she did not know any better, she added. So here's this famous actor basically humping my leg and paw pawing away at my breast and, ki and kissing them. It was awful. I felt violated. I swear I would never work with him again. He's not, he's, he's not done too well lately anyway, so maybe that's karma. You see? 26 years later, Jennifer Lopez has the nerve, the audacity to say that she was naive and did not know that this sex scene needed to take place for her to catapult her. Now, all these things are alleged, but she used to be on In Living Color. And allegedly, the Wayans brothers ran through her, bro. She was with Diddy. She knew what it was, bro. They did not have intercourse. This was a part of the movie. But she said that it was awful. And now that because she felt violated and she was naive, <laughs> now she's saying that maybe it's karma. He hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't flourished. You see what I'm saying? Women, that's a turn off. Women will always try to put themselves in a better light despite participating in something. So if you have sex with somebody and it wasn't good or you're not a simp, she'll start to tell you got little dick energy. Just start to, 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 to try to shame you. For not participating. She'll call you a fuck boy. No. You have to have standards, bro. All 
I've been telling people for years to cancel Jennifer Lopez. She is a user and a narcissist. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Listen, she's talented, bro. She's talented. She cause she's uh, you gotta respect her grind. You gotta respect her grind. But at the end of the day, she is not different from most women. 26 years later, now this man is trying to make a comeback, and now this brother's talking about what she did and how naive she was in her in her mid-20s. Riley, Passenger 57, Blade, Demolition Man, White Man Can't Jump, etc. Absolutely. Very charismatic actor. Blade is one of my favorite movies. They're actually redoing it, too. The, uh, the, the Marvel Universe is redoing it. Not with him, though. But, yeah. This reminds me of the monster movie with Holly Berry and Billy Bob Thornton. Absolutely. Ooh, that's a good one. Imagine if Holly Berry starts talking shit about Billy Bob now. Who saw that movie? Billy Bob was 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 tearing her up. Tearing her up. And Holly was actually a little bit more established than J-Lo at the time. So if Holly starts talking shit about Billy Bob because J-Lo did it, you know what it is. The man, the man make the woman look fly. Oh, yeah, she's back with Affleck. That's another conversation. <laughs> That's another conversation. Jennifer Lopez uses P. Diddy to further her career. She bolted straight after that nightclub shooting in, in, in New York. Absolutely. I'm not mad at the broad for, hate, for, for using a man. I blame the man. But in this particular case, there was no way Wesley would know that 26 years later, his name would be in her mouth talking about he coerced her. Come on, bro. Come on. She's trying to use the Karen move. Absolutely. Women are never accountable. That is the biggest turnoff for any man. Beauty's in the eyes of the beholder. But if you cannot hold yourself accountable, you cannot expect to hold me accountable for the shit you talk about. Yes. Blade is being played by the actor who played Cottonmouth and Luke Cage. Ooh, maybe Dracula. That'll be dope. Yeah, that'll be dope. They all get they all they all know they get away with it because you just can't make stuff up on man. Absolutely. Shout out to the real pill chauvinist, my brother. Powerful book, Hack Her, True Female Nature 101 available at Amazon. Follow his channel, subscribe to his channel. We did a fire drop last Saturday. About female nature. The big homie. The Afi Kingdom podcast. Please. Another business partner. Another brother. That's his wall up there. He got like 12 books up there. Make sure you subscribe to the Afi Kingdom podcast. I call him Q Quincy Jones. He knows why. He knows why. Yeah, man. Yeah. So we, we're approaching that time. You already know. You already know. You already know. You already know. Don't, don't play. You already know, my G. Afi Kingdom's got a Patreon channel. Make sure you go to his Patreon. I believe the Real Pill Chauvinist has a Patreon as well. Support these brothers because they support you back. We about to wrap up, man. We talked about a lot of things that turned men off. I think the, the biggest takeaway from today, man, is understanding that you create your reality. And in your reality, whatever you decide to have in it, whether it be a woman, a dog, children, you create your reality. My reality should differ from yours. That will create unique and authentic, authentic lives. That'll make you valuable to me because now I can learn from you. If something you don't like something in a woman, do not be afraid to tell her. You don't have to make her feel bad, but you have to tell her. This is a non-negotiable. I like my women this way, and this will determine and prove to you whether she likes you back. You could like a woman, but does she like you back? That's the question you got to ask yourself. I'm about to wrap up, man. I appreciate everybody. Week two down. We did it. We did it, man. We did it next week. It's going to be action-packed, man. This weekend, like I said, I'm going to dedicate my time to really change some things. Add some accessories that I have, man, to, to improve the stream. I appreciate everybody for rocking with me, man. This was awesome. I appreciate everyone's support. Make sure you guys have a good weekend. 
safe weekend. Be productive. Don't forget who you are. Keep grinding. I'm out.